Hello. How are you? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Passing Milestone. This is Manu and this is another video from the Bhutan series. Bhutan is a very very beautiful country. It has got many monasteries. The culture is rich. Uh the food is amazing. The people are warm. I think one should really visit Bhutan but uh, the guidelines have changed lately after covid and in this video I will talk about all such things that you need to know before you plan or while you plan your trip to Bhutan so to start with how to reach Bhutan one way to reach Bhutan is just take a direct flight to Paro and there is only one international airport in Bhutan and that is Paro International Airport but the problem here is that there are not many flights uh the flights are not as frequent and that's the reason we chose to go by road so what we did was we took a flight from delhi to bag dogra and from bag dogra we took a train to a station called hasimara once you get down at hasimara railway station all you need to do is take a taxi to jaigaon and jaigaon is a very pretty place the whole place is surrounded by tea gardens and you will really enjoy your time in jaigaon if you have time uh, at hand at least keep a day for uh, exploring jaigaon tell me what you ready to go i'll be i'll be here जायगाओं से कब आप ये नजारे देखते हुए भूटान बॉर्डर पहुंच जाएंगे आपको पता ही नहीं चलेगा सो आफ्टर यू हैव रीच्ड आपके दिमाग में आएगा कि अब यहाँ पर करेंसी कौन सी यूज होगी बिकॉज वी आर आउट ऑफ इंडिया वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द करेंसी डू दे यूज इन भूटान सो दे हैव देर करेंसी कॉल्ड भूटानी इज नुलट्रम गुलट्रम Nulstrom, I guess. If I'm pronouncing it right, I'm, I'll write somewhere here. But you actually don't need uh, their uh, currency with you. So Bhutan का बहुत simple है जो हमारा Indian rupee है वो वहाँ पर widely use होता है तो you can just have our own currency and there are ATMs and you can always withdraw. So all of our cards, all of our banks work there. Now you have reached there. Uh, you know about the currency. Another thing that is very important is what document will they check at the entrance. So when you want to cross Bhutan border, you would need two documents. One is your passport for stamping, and another is your voter ID card. But if you are carrying your passport, you really don't need voter ID card. We have checked it online, so it was written that you have to carry both. But when we reached there and we did all the paperwork, only passport was checked and nothing. else so you can plan it accordingly you will be asked for passports at multiple checkpoints during your travel across bhutan and yes in case your plan changes and you feel like extending your stay in bhutan you don't need to come back to the border to get the paperwork done because they also have their office in thimphu so you can get it done there so whenever we plan any trip the main aspect of it is cost so let me talk a little about cost i will divide the cost into fixed and variable and yeah so if i talk about the fixed side of the cost initially when you uh, uh, used to travel to bhutan there was no fee no visa fee for indians for entering bhutan but after covid what they have done is uh, they uh, they have started charging a visa fee which is to 1200 rupees per day per person so if i am traveling uh, for 10 days so 1200 into 10 i'll have to pay 12000 as my fixed cost because that is the visa fee so i have to pay 12000 rupees for being there for 10 days the second uh, fixed cost that is there is 
इट इज नाउ मैंडेटरी फॉर एवरी वन टू हैव अ गाइड विद दैम थ्रू आउट देयर ट्रिप सो इफ आई एम देयर फॉर टेन डेज आई हैव टू हैव अ गाइड विद मी ऑल टेन डेज द पर डे कॉस्ट फॉर अ गाइड इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड सो येस टेन डेज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड रुपीज मेक्स फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड राइट सो येस सो आई हैव टू पे दैट एज अ फिक्सड कॉस्ट एंड द थर्ड कॉस्ट इज योर ड्राइवर फी नाउ वाई अ ड्राइवर बिकॉज इन भूटान देर इज दिस न्यू रेगुलेशन दैट नो बडी कैन यूज द लोकल ट्रांसपोर्ट देर इन भूटान हु इज एन आउटसाइडर so for any tourist it's no more possible to use uh, the public transport hence uh, a cost is incurred that is the cost of a car and a driver we have paid between 3500 to 4000 per day to the driver depending upon where all we are traveling what all places we are covering basically these are the three costs that are fixed first is your visa fee second is your guides fee and third is your driver charges Uh, but if you ask me whether it's worth it or not uh, the guide thing i would say is really helpful because in a country where you don't really know places you don't really know things a guide would help you throughout uh, the trip you can uh, have a different itinerary altogether you can discuss things with him you can talk about places where uh, where all you want to travel and he will be able to uh, you know guide you well about uh, the whole thing so i think having a guide is definitely a uh, was a blessing for us uh, and car and driver again i know that it's a bit expensive but having a car uh, throughout your trip with yourself is really convenient so yeah these are the three fixed costs coming to the variable part of it there are uh, two things i think uh, that i'll put in the variable bucket one is your food and then your accommodation food you can ge- get for as cheap as 300 rupees and it can go up depending upon where you are which place you are exploring for food so that is one part again if i talk about accommodation the government says that you should only be staying in a three star property but that is kind of not true you can just tell your guide or your driver about your budget and they will uh, find you property uh, that fits your budget you can also check my video where i spoke about all the properties where i uh, stayed that will give you a fair idea and i have never paid uh, more than uh, 3500 uh, to any properties so the cost for accommodation should vary it can start from 1500 to 2000 and uh, the sky is the limit depending upon uh, how luxurious you want it to be oh yes there is another variable cost here which is the cost uh, which i would say is the entry fees at various monasteries so we have just gone inside of two monasteries uh, during our trip so yeah that is one variable cost that is totally on you whether you decide to enter the monastery or not but yes in most famous monasteries the good ones there is now a entry fee that would range between 1000 to 2000 rupees so that is one variable cost so on the fixed side you have visa fee you have uh, the guide fee and the driver's fee and on the variable side it's food accommodation and the entry fee fees at monasteries at various uh, tourist spots so that's about cost i hope this video helps you plan your trip to bhutan and i think it has become a little more um, on the expensive side but if you ask me if it's worth it my answer still would be yes because it's a very beautiful country with a great very very rich culture the people are amazing the architecture is really good the places are beautiful the nature is abundant and i think one should really pay a visit to bhutan to be able to absorb everything uh, closely and in person so please like share subscribe uh, and see you in the next vlog bye bye